It's something that Kamala Harris created, Margaret. Gentlemen, you're, the audience can't hear you because your mics are cut. The moderators at Tuesday night's vice presidential debate cut the mics after J.D. Vance had criticized their fact check of his false claim that undocumented immigrants had overrun Springfield, Ohio. The Haitian migrants are documented. They are legally allowed to live and work there and have actually helped revitalize the area, taking jobs that needed to be filled uh, and leading to more home construction. And no, they're not eating pets. But of course, J.D. Vance did not like being fact-checked over this wildly inaccurate claim, and so he decided to complain about it. Status. Well, Mar 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 Nora, but, but thank you, no, Senator. No, we have no, no, so course. much to get to. Margaret, thank I, you, I think Nora. it's important we, because we're going to turn out the of the debate, economy. Thank Margaret, you, Margaret. The, the, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact-check. You said you weren't going to fact-check me. Now, wait a minute. Why? Why would you not want to be fact-checked? Oh, right. It's because you want to lie. <laughs> okay, that's the only reason that you would want to uh, not have fact checking in your debate. Um, I mean, this is, uh, lying comes very, very easily to J.D. Vance. I mean, he lied about Haitians stealing and eating people's pets, all right, and admitted it. He's like, yeah, if I have to make up stories, I mean, what are you gonna do, right? No, you don't have to make up stories, okay? The, the, those stories that you made up have put a target on the backs of Haitian migrants in that area. Look, the whole debate, Vance was making all sorts of insane claims about immigrants, okay? For example, he claimed that housing prices had gone up because of mass migration, and that part of his, uh, the Trump's housing plan was to do mass deportations to bring down demand. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So he's saying, basically, as a policy prescription, oh, uh, well, there are all these undocumented immigrants that have come over and they're stealing the welfare benefits and then buying up homes. Wait, what? <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. No, no, that's not what's happening. No, you know what's actually driven up the prices of homes? Private real estate investors. Yeah. Corporate landlords buying up old single family homes and then blocking normal families from being able to buy the, ho buy the houses. No, instead they buy them up and they rent them out to people at very insane prices, by the way. So both mortgages have gone up as well as rents. Now, another factor in the price of homes is junk fees. In fact, according to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is trying to you know, cut down on those, home buyers currently face a mountain of charges when closing in a house. These can include origination fees, credit report fees, discount points, and many, many more. From 21, uh, 2021 to 2022, median total loans, uh, loan costs rose sharply, increasing by 21.8% on home purchase loans, the CFPB said in a release. And in 2022, the median amount paid by borrowers was nearly $6,000 in these costs and fees. Uh, and a 2021 study by Fannie Mae found that for more than 14% of lower income home buyers, closing costs met or exceeded the amount of their down payment, which is 20%. Jeez. So yeah, junk fees are just killing home ownership in this country. Uh, now, another issue, of course, is lack of single family homes. Construction has lagged uh, since 2020. And so that's another issue. Look, undocumented immigrants are not to blame for high home prices. It's ridiculous, all right? I just went through all the actual causes, okay? Uh, but nonetheless, he said it, and other conservatives were furious that someone actually fact-checked Vance on his bullshit. In fact, here's Marjorie Green writing on X, formerly known as Twitter, quote, the CBS moderators just muted J.D. Vance's mic as he called them out for their lies about Kamala Harris's open border policies. Disgraceful. Then you have end wokeness. So what? You want everybody to go back to sleep? Okay. Um, he wrote on X that Vance was right when the moderators muting him. Writing, writing, 
J.D. Vance demolishes the moderators for lying to the audience. CBS mutes him. Wait, the, the moderators didn't lie to the audience at all. <laughs> and of course, Megyn Kelly uh, writes this. And you, CBS, how dare you try to fact check. J.D. put you in your place. You won't him fight you and you won't let them debate. <laughs> okay. Um, now, she did get some responses from, uh, for that. Uh, Allison writes, imagine seeing someone lie and then defending them for lying. Purposeful Redemption asks, uh, is Megyn Kelly drunk again? Mm. And then finally, uh, Cal says, something is definitely wrong with you. That you're not upset that Vance was lying. You're upset that he was caught lying. Well, once again, bingo. Look, the only, the only reason to be upset about being fact-checked is when you want your lies to go unchallenged. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.